Hi everyone, in this video for grade 6 we have 9.3 which is about using similar figures on page 203. In the other lesson we studied similar figures, how we know that two shapes are similar like them or like this. How we know that two shapes are similar we could find out by using the angles. We said the angles must be equal and the sides, the corresponding sides must have a similar ratio, same ratio. Now, <coughs> in this lesson, we are using similar figures to find out unknown length, which is one of the sides unknown, we don't know how much, but we know that the shapes are similar. From the question tells you, find the unknown length. When you know that they are similar, these shapes are similar, it tells you. In this case, always just for yourself put the numbers in the smaller shape in the up in the fractions and put the numbers in the greater shape in the down of the fractions each side over the corresponding side of the other shape for example 15 which is upside over x 10 over 30 always they must be equal so we say 10 over 30, this side over this side must be equal to 15 over x. We put the numbers in the smaller shape in the up and the others in the down. Whenever you have two fractions and between them equal, we have something which is called cross product means this number multiply this one equal to this number multiply the other one it's called cross product when you can use it just when you have two fractions and between them equal now we say 10 multiply x 10x equals 30 multiply 15 30 multiply 15 10x equals this is 0 3 multiply 5 15 5 and we will have 1 3 multiply 1 3 and we had 1 it would be 450 because you have 10x to find x we divide by 10 we divide by 10 divide by 10 divide by 10 well, we have zeros at the end of the fraction. Whenever you had fraction like that, and you had zeros at the ends in both numerator and denominator, you can remove one zero in the up, one zero in the down, which would be now 45 over 1, which is 45. And 10 divided by 10 would be 1, which both of them would be cancelled. x equals... 45 over 1 it means 45 it means this side must be 45 we found because we knew that they are similar always we are going to use this rule the side over the corresponding side equal to the other side equals the other corresponding side again it's the same question the same thing which is find the unknown length find the value of x when you know that they are similar again we use the same way which is this side over this side must be equal to this side over the other one 10 over 20 must be equal to x over 36 we said put the numbers in the smaller shape in the up 36 we do what now we do cross product why because we have two fractions and between them equal cross multiply 20 multiply x equal to what 10 multiply 36 it means 20x equals 
360. After that, because we have 20, we divide by 20, we divide by 20. We said if you had zeros at the end, you can cancel them. One from up, one from down. Now it's 36 over 2. 36 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 20 and 20 we have. They would be cancelled. It would be 1. 1x one equals 18 over 1, which is 18. x equals 18 because 36 divided by 2 is 18. So we knew that this side must be 18. Now from that, we learned if we had two similar shapes and there was a noun side, we can find it out how much is it by using similar uh, corresponding sides of the similar figures. That's all about this section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.